Hi uh, folks, it's good to be with you today. Just sharing uh, the Word of God. Uh, we're in Liverpool today. Good to be with Liverpool people today. It says uh, in the Word of God, it says, Wherein he is able to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him, seeing he is ever liveth to make it intercession for them. Hebrews 7, 25. Where he is able to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them. Hebrews 7, 25. When people are drowning and they're in the sea, the helicopter comes and the helicopter puts a winch down and they're able to save that person who is drowning. And Jesus is able to save you if you feel you're drowning today. Whether you're drowning in sorrow, whether you're drowning in despair, whether you're drowning in failure and mistakes. He says, wherefore he is able also to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them. Hebrews 7.25 And he can save you today. He is able to save you. Save you from Judgment Day. You know, we don't like to talk about Judgment Day, but one day there is a day where God has to judge us. And when Jesus came, he, was, he, died, as the he died for the unjust. He died on our behalf. He took our place. He stepped in our place and shed his blood for us. When he died on that cross, he stepped in our place and he died as a murderer, though he murdered nobody. He died as a thief, though he thieved, he stole nothing. He died in our place as the Son of God. He died in our place. He died in our place. Hey, mate, you alright? No, no, no. Do you want to debate? Are you a Christian? No? Are you, a, are you an atheist? Why are you an atheist, sir? Uh, I'll let you speak. Why, why are you an atheist? We're on camera, is that okay? All right. Are you an atheist? Okay. Can you give us an argument why you're an atheist? What, what, why are you an atheist? Well, give, give, you don't know. Let me ask you something. What's more intelligent? If I threw matches on the floor, would, would those matches create a house? Don't know. No, right? So how can you believe this creation, this world, crea was created, yeah, made by chance? How can you believe that? <laughs> All right. So as an atheist, are you going to be a believer now then? And put your faith in Jesus? Yes, I am. Okay. Very much I am. God bless you, bro. Nice to meet you. Take care, bro. God bless you. Wherefore he is able to save them to the utmost that come to God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them. Wherefore he is able to save them to the uttermost that, God, that come unto God by him. If you come to God and you're weighed down by your failures, you're weighed down by your mistakes, you're weighed down by those things that you know you've made mistakes, you come to God, He is faithful to forgive you. He's faithful to forgive you. And He will forgive you. He will show you His mercy. And He will show you His love. He will. He will. He can forgive you for anything you've ever done. Any mistake that you've ever done. I met a guy the other day. He, spent, he said he'd been in prison 25 times. God can forgive him. God can forgive you. He can forgive you because he paid the penalty for you. It says in Jude 24, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory and exceeding joy. He can bring you faultless before the throne of God because he was the son of God who shed his blood. He shed his blood and gave his life that you may live. He gave all that he had for you. He gave up his life for you. He gave up his body for you. There in the courtyard, they beat him. 
There in the courtyard they mocked him. There in the courtyard they laughed at him. Yet he shed his blood and went to that cross. And he went to that cross for you. In flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. He shall punish with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 8 and 9. For those who reject Jesus, the Bible says, in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus, of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, 8 and 9. You don't want to die and come under God's wrath. You don't want to die and go to hell, my friends. You don't want to do that with your life. You don't want to die and go to hell. It says, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there you may be also. So he says, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. And he beckons you to come to him today. And to know that salvation in your life. To not miss that salvation because you might not get a chance next week. You might not get a chance tomorrow. You need to take that opportunity while you can today. That opportunity for you is here today that he died for you on that cross. And you need to take that opportunity while you can before you're taken into eternity. You need to make sure you know where you stand with God. Jesus Christ shed his blood and gave his life. Shed his blood and gave his life that you can be saved, that you can know his mercy, that you can know his grace. He shed his blood. It says, through this man, Jesus Christ, is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins. Through this man, Jesus Christ, is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins. Acts 13, 38. The forgiveness of sins, that Christ, we preach forgiveness of sin. That he paid your debt, he paid your price. And if you don't take hold of that gift, if you don't take hold of that gift that he gave you, and if you don't repent and turn away from those things you know that are not right, and if you don't believe in Jesus Christ and realize that he paid the debt for you, he paid the price for you, it says here, through the man, through this man, Jesus Christ is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins, Acts chapter 13, 38, having made peace through the blood of his cross, Colossians chapter 1, verse 20, having made peace through the blood of his cross, Colossians 1.20 And his blood appeased the wrath of God when Christ was on the cross and he shed his blood he was taking the punishment for your sin he was taking the wrath for your sin he was shedding his blood for your sin when he was on the cross he was being crushed for your sin on that cross he died on that cross God bless you bro do you want to debate me sir? Do you want a debate? Come and have a debate, bro. God bless you. He shed his blood. Having made peace through the blood of his cross, Colossians 1.20. God bless you. The blood makes peace with God. The blood is what was shed for you on that cross. For on that cross, the wrath of the Father fell upon him. And every lie, everything you ever did wrong, Christ 
took the wrath that you deserved and there on that cross he was shedding his blood that you may be forgiven but you have to go to that blood and say Lord forgive me Lord have mercy upon me Lord I need your forgiveness Lord I need your cleansing Lord, I need your mercy, I need your grace, I need your love, I need your forgiveness in my life. And you need to go to the blood of Jesus and know that the blood of Jesus will cleanse you of all of your wrong things. Having made peace through the blood of his cross. Colossians 1.20. God bless you. God bless you. Do you believe in Jesus? You do? Do you believe he died for you on the cross? He gave his life? Yeah? Do you want to say, tell? It's been filmed though. All right. Jesus loves you, yeah? God bless you. God bless you. Have a lovely day. And I like your smile. God bless you. God bless you. Jesus loves you, my friend. I mean, made peace through his blood of his cross. Peace. The wrath of God came upon him and there he died on that cross. Don't you see when Christ hung on a cross, he hung on a cross for you. He hung on that cross for you. He hung on the cross for you. He died on that cross for you to save you so that you wouldn't have to go to hell. He went to hell on the cross for you and died on that cross for you. Do you want to debate me then, sir? Come and debate. God bless you. If you can't debate, you're anti-intellectual, bro. Having peace through the blood of his cross. The peace of peace through the blood of Jesus. God bless you, Lord. Peace through the blood of Jesus. Peace through the blood of the Lamb. Peace because there on that cross, He hung on that cross, and the Son of God died on that cross with a crown of thorns upon His head, and He hung on that cross, and He died on that cross, and He shed His blood on that cross, and He hung on that cross as the Son of God, and He, he knew no sin, and He was perfect and pure, and He hung on that cross for you. Did Ed Sheeran die for you? Did Lady Gaga die for you? Did your drug dealer die for you? Did your wacky backy dealer die for you? Who died for you? He died for you. Jesus died for you. The Son of God died for you. He died on a cross. He shed his blood. He gave his life. He hung on a cross. He brought peace with the Father through his blood. Having made peace through the blood of his cross. The blood of his cross. The blood of his cross, that there on the cross he hung for you. There on the cross he hung and died on the cross and shed his blood on the cross and died on the cross that you may live. And the world mocks and the world laughs and the world thinks it's stupid. But there the Son of God hung on the cross for you. And if you don't believe in that, then you're lost forever and ever. There is only heaven and hell and you're lost if you don't believe that Christ died on the cross for you. He died on the cross. He died on the cross to save you. He died on the cross to bring you home. He died on the cross and was crushed for you. He was crushed for you that you may live and you're, you, you ignore the life that God has given you. You ignore the life that was given you. He died for you. He loved you and died for you to bring you home. He died to bring you home and you're rejecting him who died to save you. You're rejecting him who loved you. You're rejecting him who died for you on that cross. You're rejecting the one who gave his life and shed his blood to save you from the wrath to come. Because one day you're going to die whether you like it or not. One day you're going to pass away. One day you're going to die. One day you're going to be in a coffin. One day you're going to die. And when you die, it ain't the end. There is a judgment day. And when you meet God on that judgment day, the only person that can help you is Jesus. The only person that can save you is Jesus. Because he paid your debt. Muhammad never paid your debt. Muhammad never died for you. Muhammad didn't do jack for you. Jesus died for you. Jesus gave his life for you. Muhammad lying to you. Jesus never lied to you. Jesus died for you on a cross. Jesus gave his life for you on a cross. He is the true shepherd. Muhammad's a wolf in sheep's clothing. Jesus is the true shepherd. He is the true shepherd of your soul. He is the true shepherd that can save you. He is the true shepherd. He is the true shepherd that can save you. He never killed anybody. What's up, bro? 
You can merge it, man. You can merge it. God bless you, bro. No, no, here. What I'm going to do is have a look at back in there. Jesus Christ loved you, sir. He died for you on that cross. Shed his blood for you, bro. Gave his life for you. Shed his blood on the cross, sir. Gave his life for you. Shed his blood for you on the cross. Shed his blood for you, bro. You need Jesus, bro. That's who you need, my friend. Jesus Christ died on the cross and shed his blood. Baba never died for you. Muhammad never died for you. Bertrand Russell never died for you. The BBC never died for you. The Prime Minister never died for you. Nobody ever died for you, but he died for you. He gave his life. He shed his blood. He, said he came and died on that cross to save you. He died on that cross to bring you home. Shed his blood to bring you home. He loved you and died for you on that cross. He gave his life for you on that cross. Ed Sheeran never died for you. Lady Gaga never died for you. Muhammad never died for you. Buddha never died for you. Your drug dealer never died for you. Having made peace through his blood of his cross. He shed his blood on a cross. You can come and talk to me, mum, if you want to talk. Shed his blood on a cross and gave his life on a cross. Shed his blood. One day you're going to die. One day you're going to die. One day you're going to be in the grave. And when you're in the grave... No, it's mine, sir. No, it's mine. It's my property, sir. Yes, can you please? Why? You need to get the bin. You need to get the bin? Okay, sir. God bless you. Sorry about that, sir. How's that? God bless you, bro. One day, one day you're going to die. One day you're going to die. And where will you be when you die? Where will you be when you die? Where will you be when you die? You go in the grave and that's not the end. Jesus died on that cross and shed his blood for you on that cross and gave his life for you on that cross and died on your behalf. He died as your savior to bring you home. He died on that cross. God bless you, bro. Yes? Why does God let babies die? Are you going to run off or are you going to stand still? Yeah? Why did, how did evil come in? It came in because of men. Well, I'm answering the question. Evil came in because of men. Adam and Eve rebelled. And that's how evil came in. Unless you believe... No, but what I'm saying is, that's how, that's how evil came in. He came down and died for us, sir. If Jesus was here today, would you believe him? We've got evidence, sir. We've got historical records. Are you going to run away again or what, bro? What are you going to do? It's no good shotgunning me and then running off. That's not a proper debate. That's fascism, bro. Here's a few questions, preacher, and run off. Come and stand with me and let me answer you. Let me answer you. You said about evidence, right? In your, in your body, you've got DNA, three billion bits of DNA in one DNA. Right? Three billion bits of information in one DNA. Times that by a billion. So in your body, that's how much information you've got. One billion times three billion. In your body. Let, let me just finish. Let me finish. How can all that information in your body come by chance? You answer that. How can we made? How will we made? You made us? I, I just answer that question. I don't know. You don't, I'll tell you. The only way that could happen is a divine mind put that information. That's how much information you got. I got another question for you, right? Did Jesus die and rise again? You don't know. No one knows because he's never been there. Did he die on the cross? I suppose so. I don't know. Yeah. I'll tell you, he died on the cross. You know how we know? We have evidence outside the Bible. Tacitus, a Roman historian, around about 90 AD, said he died on a cross under Pontius Pilate, and then Josephus said he died on a cross. And I'll give you some evidence that he rose from the dead. Did you know that women's testimony was not valued? And I really thank you for listening, sir. It shows you got a big heart. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Can I just finish this about the resurrection? All right. In the resurrection, women's testimony was not worth anything. It was only worth half that of a man. Who were the first people that saw Jesus rise from the dead? was women. You wouldn't start a religion with women, with Jews, because the Jews didn't respect the women. Yet it was the women that said he rose from the dead. Now over to you, I'll let you ask a question because you've been so nice. As I say, it's, uh, what, we just go to the dust when we die. I don't okay. believe in all that. Don't, talk. Well, don't run away, don't run away. Well, can, can I just say this? You said that all we are is dust. Now, is there anybody in your family that you love? 
There's a lot of only got one person in the family, that's it. Do you love them? Yeah. yeah. Are they dust? Sorry? Are they dust? Well, they're still living, they've been dusting in a few years. Oh. What I'm saying is, you're saying they're just dust, but that person, I know you're a, a nice guy, and you treat them with love. You don't treat them as dust. Do you see what I'm getting at? If they're just dust, they're just dust. Yeah, but... Do you know who Richard Dawkins... You're a really nice guy for talking, I really appreciate it. You know Richard Dawkins? He said, he's a famous atheist, he said that we're just dust on the edge of the universe. If we're, if we're just dust, you don't live like dust. You treat people with respect, yeah? Well, then i just finish. You know why you treat people with respect? Because God put it in your heart to, res to, to respect people, okay? Okay, I'll answer that. Did you want to say that? Why does he come down and stop all this trouble? Okay, num okay, number one, he did come down in Jesus Christ. Just fin let me finish, let me finish. He came down and he died on the cross for you. He died and shed his blood. I I'm going to answer that now. He died, shed his blood, and rose again, and he offers salvation and grace to everybody if they want to find peace and forgiveness. Then he rose, again, rose into heaven. Now one day he's coming back. But at the moment, he's giving time for people. Listen, listen, just listen. He's coming back. The world's going to end one day, right? And when it ends, he's coming back. Now, he's giving you time to repent. Now, if Jesus came back right this minute, right, and ended all the evil like you want, if he came back right this minute, are you ready to meet him this minute? Can you say you would go to heaven if he came right now? I don't believe in it. No, but... Just, just put, put yourself in my in my shoes. Imagine it's true. Don't you don't. Have, yeah, I, I know. But just just put your shoe, put yourself in my shoes. If Jesus was to come back, right, would you go to heaven? I suppose so. If he was a place, but I don't. Believe. Have you ever lied? Probably, yeah. I don't. What does that make? You? Nothing. Makes you what? Sorry. If you've lied, what does that make? You? Nothing. Makes you. It makes you lawyer. So, let, let me finish, let me finish, because I've listened to you. How do you get your forgiveness for your lives with God? If there is a God. You don't have to believe, but if there is a God, how do you get forgiven? Can you go to church and say, don't you uh, want to confess to this? That's good, that's good but not, 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 that's not what it is. It says this, let me finish, let me finish. In John chapter 3, verse 16, it says this. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes on him, shall not perish but have everlasting life let me just finish let me just finish because i've listened to you jesus so loved the world that he gave his god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes on him shall not perish but have everlasting life when jesus was dying on that cross any lies or anything you've done he's dying and taking your punishment for you and if you ask for forgiveness and let jesus in you'll, for, you'll find forgiveness and peace with god and you'll be with him forever in eternity, sir. God bless you, sir. Are you going to shake my hand, friends? Yeah, God bless you. Okay, it's a tough question. I understand, mate. I understand, that's a tough question. I, I, I understand that, that's a tough question, sir, and I respect that. Yes, it is. What's that? Are you going to debate me or are just going to be saying things? <laughs> Jesus loves you, this I know, for the Bible tells you so. Little ones, he loves you true. Yes, he loves you, yes he does. Yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves you. The Bible tells you so. Jesus gave his life for you today. So come on over to Jesus. Come and trust him as your Lord and Savior. And know forgiveness in your life and peace in your life. Are you happy today? Wait, mate, are you alright? Are you happy today? You can be even happier if you put your faith in Jesus. What's that now? You don't want to do that, bro. Put your faith in Jesus, mate. Put your faith in him. Jesus Christ, the Savior. God bless you, man. Put your faith in Him. He can change your life. He can give you a new life. He can give you a new peace. He can give you a new joy. 
Let Jesus shine in your life. Let Jesus shine in your heart. Let Jesus be the one because there he died on that cross. As I was saying, he hung on that cross. The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. And he hung on that cross for you. He hung on that cross. Are you all right, guys? He hung on that cross. And he shed his blood for you on that cross. He gave his life for you on that cross. And he hung on that cross that you may be saved. That you may be saved. He hung on that cross that you may be saved. That you may have peace with God. That you may be forgiven. There he hung with a crown of thorns on his head. There he hung near to the cross. And he hung to save you from hell. And he hung on that cross to bring you home. But you've got to repent and say, Lord, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for my things I've done wrong. And you have to repent and believe in him. But he hung on that cross for you. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me, he said. There he hung on the cross, shed his blood. Shed his blood for you, sir. Shed his blood. Shed his blood for you, bro. Shed his blood. Shed his blood for you, sir. Shed his blood. Andy, 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 could you just watch the camera? Just, you could just watch the camera. Sir, you need Jesus, sir. What's wrong with you, bro? Jesus loves you, bro. Jesus loves you, sir. Jesus loves you. Gave his life. No, no, no. Jesus loves you, sir. Jesus loves you, bro. No, Jesus loves you, sir. No, he loves you, sir. He loves you, bro. He loves you, sir. He loves you, sir. Jesus loves you. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine. If you're happy and you know it, praise the Lord. If you're happy and you know it, praise the Lord. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, praise the Lord. If you're happy and you know it, praise the Lord. If you're happy and you know it, praise the Lord. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, praise the Lord. If you're happy and you know it, say hello. If you're happy and you know it, say hello. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, God bless you. Jesus loved you and gave his life on that cross and shed his blood. And died on that cross that you may have life. That you may have a life and you may have a future. And go to heaven and be with God forever and ever, my friend. That's why he died on that cross. That's why he shed his blood. That's why he gave his life. He shed his blood that you could have life. He died on that cross that you may have life. It says in the word of God, as many as received him, to them gave he power to become sons of God, even to them that believe in his name. As many as received him, to them gave he power to become sons of God, even to them that believe in his name. Believe in his name, friends. Believe in the name of Jesus. Jesus can save you. Jesus can bring you home. Jesus. Let Jesus come in to your heart. Open your heart to him. Say, Lord, I need you. Lord, come in. I need you. I need you, Lord. I can't do it on my own. I can't cope on my own. I need you to fill me with your mercy. I need you to fill me with your love. I need you to fill me with your Holy Spirit. I need you to forgive me. I need you to help me. Jesus, come in. Be my Savior. Be my Lord. Ask him to come in and say, Lord, take over my life. Lord, forgive me. Lord, I repent. I believe in you. Forgive me and let him come in. Let Jesus come in and fill you with his love and fill you with his joy and fill you with his peace and fill you with his hope. Let him come in. Let him come in your life today. God bless you, man. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you, Lord. God bless you. Let him come in your heart. Let him fill you today with the joy of the Lord. Let him fill you today with power. Let him fill you today with hope. He can fill your heart today. If you let him in. He can fill your heart today with joy and peace. Oh, let him in. Let him in. Open your heart to him. Say, Lord, forgive me. Lord, cleanse me. Lord, have mercy upon me. Fill me. Fill me with, me with your love, Lord. Fill me. God bless you guys. Fill me with your love, Jesus said. Lord, fill me. I need you. I need your love. I need you, Jesus. I need your hope. I need your peace. Hiya, bro. How's it going, bro? You all right? God bless. Jesus loves you, yeah? Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Dear Father, I just pray for my brother that you just fill him with your grace and your love. And Lord, I just pray you bring healing and comfort to his life. And Father, I just pray that you meet every need that he has. And Lord, just bless him right now in Jesus' name. Make a way for him. Lord, just give him the best years of his life. And Lord, just look after him and comfort him and strengthen him. And may he know your peace and joy and salvation and forgiveness today in Jesus' name. Amen. Alright, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. God bless you. God bless you. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, He is Lord, He is Lord, He is risen from the dead. And he is Lord, every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, he is Lord, come on now, he is Lord, he is risen from the dead, and he is Lord, every knee shall bow, every tongue Confess, God bless you guys, that Jesus Christ is Lord, He is Lord, He is Lord, He is risen from the dead, and He is Lord, every knee shall bow, every tongue confess, that Jesus Christ is Lord, he is Lord, He is Lord, He is risen from the dead, and He is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He's Lord, folks. He's Lord. Praise His name. Praise His name. There's power in the name of Jesus. There's power in the name of the Lord for you today. There's power to change your situation. Power to come in your life. Power to make a difference. It's the name of Jesus. It's the power of Christ that can come in your life. The power of God can come in. The power of Jesus in your life. Do you want to debate me, guys? Anybody want to debate me? Come and have a debate. Come on. Where's the atheist in the monks here? Come on. Are you the atheist? Yes. You want to debate me? Come on then, bro. You stand there, yeah? Right. You've had first question. Okay. Let me ask you this. Answer this. In your body, you got DNA. And the DNA, one DNA, has three billion bits of information. Times it by a billion, one billion, three billions, your whole body holds that much of information. Now, where there's information, there's a mind. So who put all that information in your body? Okay. Yes, sir. What do you want to say? He doubts Paul. Okay. Now here's another question. Okay. When Jesus Christ died on the cross and rose again, did that happen or did not? Did that not happen? It did not happen. You want to say no? It did not happen. Happen. Okay. I'll show you. It happened. When he died on that cross. Without my Bible, I can prove Jesus died on a cross. All right? Josephus, a Jewish historian, said in 70 AD that Jesus died under Pontius Pilate. Then, Tetitus, a Roman historian, said that Jesus died under Pontius Pilate. Enemies say that he died. That's why Dominic Crossan said, who's, an, who's a skeptic, said that Jesus died on the cross is the well, most well-attested fact in ancient history. Now, you're an atheist, yeah? Are you an atheist? Yeah? All right, there's an atheist called Michael Onfray, and he said nobody was crucified in the time of Jesus. We found a nail in someone's hand proving people were crucified in the time of Jesus, yeah? Believe, we have the evidence. If you want the evidence, we can give you the evidence. We're not anti-intellectual. Don't be smoking the wacky backy tonight. Don't be taking drugs tonight. What you need tonight is Jesus. No wacky backy, no marijuana. What you need is Jesus. Jesus loves you. Jesus died for you. Jesus gave his life and shed his blood for you guys and girls on that cross. 
Don't smoke the dope. If you're happy and you know it, don't smoke the dope. If you're happy and you know it, don't smoke the dope. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to do it. If you're happy and you know it, don't smoke the dope. If you're happy and you know it, trust in Jesus. If you're happy and you know it, believe in Jesus. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, believe in Jesus. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, don't smoke the spice. If you're happy and you know it, don't smoke the spice. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, don't smoke the spice. If you're happy and you know it, trust the Lord. If you're happy and you know it, trust the Lord. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, trust the Lord. You're getting a bit tired, folks. Jesus loves you, yeah? Trust in Jesus. He's the way. He's the one with the life and joy and peace. He's the one that can save you today. He's the one that can give you hope today. Let him in today. Let life in. Let power in and joy in by the Holy Spirit. Let God change you today. My friends, he died on that cross to save you. He died on that cross to bring you home. He died on that cross to give you a life and a future. That's why he died on that cross. So trust him today. And believe in him today. And have faith in him today. And may you know his love in your life today. May you know his peace in your life. May you know his joy in your life. May you know his grace in your life. Trust him today. And look to him today. And believe in him today. And have faith in him today. God bless you. God bless you. May God's love shine upon you. May his peace be with you. May his love be in your home. May his peace be in your home. May his love be in your home. May the joy of the Lord be your strength. May God fill you with his love today. May God fill you with his blessings today. May God shower you with his love today and blessings today in your home and in everything that you're doing today. May you have the best year of your life. May God bless you. May God's peace be upon you. And may his love shine in your life and the blessings of God in your life. So come and trust him today. God bless you. Have a lovely day. It's been good to be with you, Liverpool. I'll be back. As Arnie said, I'll be back. I'll be back to share the love of Jesus to you and give you that salvation that you need today. The joy of the Lord is your strength. And he can fill you with love. God bless you, mate. God bless you. Fill you with his love today. Fill you with his peace. Be born again by the power of the Holy Spirit. God bless you, folks. God bless you. Thank you.